I get a lot of people that ask me, how do I jack up an old car or an old Mustang? You know, old cars, they're fun to work on, but you gotta really be careful on where you jack them up, man. You don't wanna put the jack underneath the wrong spot because you're liable to put that jack right through a floor pan. I mean, it is an old car and they are unibodied. So today I'm gonna cover where you can put that jack so you don't screw your car up. Check it out. What you got underneath the front of a Mustang, just behind the lip of this oil pan here, is a cross member that's bolted to the thing. This thing is pretty rigid, actually. It's, it's an unboltable thing, so you can get access to your oil pan. But if it's bolted in properly, and it's where, the, where it should be, you can support the whole car with it. It's actually a pretty good deal. Um, so anyway, slide the jack underneath the pan, put it right on this round bar right here, and just jack it up nice and slowly till the two front wheels are off the ground, and then you'll be able to set a couple of jack stands under it. That's where the front of it goes. Let's check out the back. On the rear of an old car, especially these old Mustangs and Camaros and Challengers and all those, they had what's called a live axle. This is a straight axle kind of thing here. It's, there's nothing independent about it. Um, but it's got this big round center section on it here where all the gears are packed in there. And uh, that's where you're gonna wanna rest your, your jack. So you'll slide the jack underneath here, you'll let the jack kinda come up and the pad will rest against here and you'll slowly jack it up. Put it up enough where you get yourself up in the air and then again, as soon as you can, you put jack stands underneath it because it is something that you don't want to crawl underneath and uh, get yourself hung up under it. Last thing you want to do is work on your Mustang or your hot rod and you're, you're stuck underneath here. You're calling, honey, get me out from underneath here. All kidding aside, you could really get hurt. So make sure you use some jack stands underneath an old car. These are just unibodies meaning there is not one thing on an old Mustang or an old Camaro or anything that's very strong. But you weld all those things together and you bolt them together, that's where you get your strength. That's how a unibody works. So check it out, make sure you're careful, and get those jack stands. In the front, where you're going to want to put the jack stands, just in front of the lower control arm, there's a box frame. That's the perfect spot to support an old Mustang, right there. One on each side of the car, put the jack stand there, nice and safe, you can lower the jack down. The back of the car, this live axle we were just talking about, has axle tubes coming off of the center section right here. And the perfect spot to put your jack stand is right under the live axle tube, right there. You can lower the jack down, you can get the jack out from underneath it, and you can crawl underneath there and feel good about it. So remember, play it safe, do things the right way, because you're not playing around with a toy. A car is your real deal.